Hi guys, um, I was asked to do a full walk round of my garden and my greenhouse. Um, I made a few attempts, <laughs> but um, lighting's not been great and things. It's just been, it's been so hot and so sunny. It's been lovely, but um, the camera doesn't always like that when you're pointing it up and down and all about so here we go it's a nice cool little bit overcast day um, and I'm quite thankful for that today actually um, and I thought I would quickly film it you'll have to excuse the toys and things obviously it's one of those things when you've got kids um, but I'm hoping to be able to show you a few bits in the garden that I really enjoy and I hope you enjoy too. Um, I'm going to see if I can zoom in a bit on this. Little calendula. A lot of my calendulas just sell seed. Um, I chucked seed down one year. Um, and if, if you've never grown calendulas before, they can be done in pots um to start off with and then moved but you have to wait until they're really quite a size before you move them so actually it's better just to chuck the seed down so the other year i did um and i had some pop up and uh now they just keep coming up every year i think that's the great thing about some of these plants even things like your little violas those were bought this year these ones <sighs> those ones were bolt um but i have them popping up all over the place because they just sell seed so it's lovely um let's see if i can get the tree ferns coming out i've got three nice sized tree ferns in the garden um and i had a bit of an obsession with them at one point and had all sorts of sizes and that but now at the size they are they don't need a real lot of protecting so um, I'm quite lucky they're quite easy to care for now um, hookah is over this side had to move that that middle black one it's not so black at the moment it actually um, wasn't doing so well where it was um, and the couple that we had here were doing really well so um, we moved them and like within a day or two it had picked up so this is obviously a good spot for them the grass needs mowing um more calendulas this is like this is where most of the calendulas seem to pop up um and i do like calendulas so i'm not moaning i i really like them um let me see the sun's just sort of broken through so i'm gonna see if i can get a nice shot of these different <sighs> they've grown so big remember this guys when you buy your little cordial lines and things if you leave them long enough they do actually grow really big um they're lovely and I, we genuinely did buy those as little baby plot like they they weren't big when we got them we've just planted them and left them and it's taken some time but they are looking good so if you can't afford really big um versions of it if you can't afford big just just buy what you can afford they'll grow that's the beauty of owning plants <coughs> this is supposed to be rhubarb i've got black opal tomatoes over the back um and then in front of them is supposed to be asparagus um but my tortoise likes to run it all over she likes to eat the asparagus i don't know if you're gonna be able to let's see if i can she's chomped the end off of that one she's had a lot of the spikes that have come up actually and the rhubarb just gets crushed as she walks over it so it's um 
at the moment it feels like I'm not getting anywhere with it that's it's only it's his it's his second year now so this is the bug house that mum and Henry made we found the idea online um, got this little tree um, stump and this rock while we were on holiday dragged it back with us <laughs> um, this is the new bed that we've just put in um, it's supposed to, it's so that it kind of follows on from that bit, it goes all the way around the trampoline and back down. So we've got some pink blueberries, lavender, apple tree, um, we planted some sweet corn in because that's what we've been able to get hold of. Um, and then I'll sow some seeds around it to carry on the sort of the quite packed um, planting I'm doing at the moment. We got my granddad's pear tree, my pear tree, my Victoria plum, which yet again it doesn't look like there's going to be any fruit on it. The only plum that I enjoy eating is a Victoria plum, and we had one, and it was over in that corner, just in front of my greenhouse, um, before my greenhouse was there. Um, and we got loads, but it actually it. it started it had a problem with it and we had a really bad year and it just wasn't right so we got rid of it and i bought another one and i just I, i've had no luck with victoria plum trees ever since so i'm desperate to get hold of one that will actually fruit for me this is the newly widened bed um, originally it was only sort of about one paving square wide um, but we straightened the path um, and dug this out so now it's wider um, and it's currently got there's herbs along the back we've got tomatoes in there there's lettuces there's a whole mixture of things um, there's pak choy in there that I've been growing since um, from seed um let me see i'm gonna take this strap off there's one of my little baby pack choice um so this hasn't been um hasn't had as much added to it um like compost manure things like that so um i'm being a little less um i'm packing a little less in into this um bed because uh it, it's it's still new so it's going to take a little while to really get the nutrients in there um there's our little alpine strawberry area lettuces like little salad bowl lettuces in there um we try and pack as much as much salad as we can in lettuce leaves um cucumber anything that the animals can eat because we've got obviously a lot of animals um to feed and last summer we actually got so much packed in i had so much that we didn't have to buy anything from really all summer so that was it saves a lot of money you don't realize how much you spend on salad and vegetables and things for them aces underneath the aces we've carried on with lettuces and herbs parsley all around the bottom of this planter and then strawberries inside and the strawberries are now flowering and we can see we've we've definitely got strawberries so that's great i've got three different types of peas growing so we've got mange two we've got sugar snap and we've got then just the the normal peas um and i've packed this bed really tightly i call it an alice fowler style um planting um she did a series of um where she planted a lot of her vegetables and her fruit plants and things in between her 
her, her normal flowers and plants and that and she did really well you do have to make sure that the ground is really fertile to do it but it's well worth giving it a go I really like it and I actually prefer seeing my bed like this rather than in rows I just think it looks actually really pretty so there's a bit of everything in there I'm starting to harden off some of the coleus that I've um sown from seed grown from seed uh, there's corn flowers just starting to come up in that tray i've got clematis my wisterias over here um there's a pot of basil over here is where an area that we've just um sorted out originally my compost bin was there that's been moved um to make way for this is kind of a makeshift auricular theatre i've picked up some new plants recently um i'm really liking the primula auriculars so i wanted to create a space for them um similar to how they would be shown sort of quite you know if you were back in time so um i've got hostas underneath this is quite a nice shady spot for um and uh, currently i'm using just polythene over the top of it to protect them from the rain they're fully hardy but don't like the rain right you'll have to excuse me i haven't opened the greenhouse yet i'm doing this this was very spur of the moment to quickly get it done um while i had time let's oh yeah the sun's really not it's not liking that along here it's mainly tradescantias i've got a pepper plant up there and if you can see it's got a nice pepper that it grows by the day um mainly all my hanging plants so tradescantias all coming down um then my potting area over here um some plants i like to keep this space in front quite clear so i've got plenty of space to work this is henry's sunflower it's waiting to be hardened off to go out this will hopefully be henry's cucumber i've got a gherkin there that um i'm growing in memory of my granddad um i have messed around with the trays quite a lot recently um to make it more um mixed because a lot of my coleus because um i'm in the process of sort of pinching them out and getting them all nice and bushy um have been as you can see as we walk around have been packed down here um so that i can sort of keep an eye and make sure i'm i know what i'm i can see what i'm pinching out um but i've just started sort of mixing them around a bit um and i love the effect um my orchids are all looking good i really i wish that sun wasn't there because they look really pretty um these are all my some of my carnivorous plants let's just put these babies up some more carnivorous plants i'm going to take you down while i remember to these ones I think that's my favourite picture plant actually. I absolutely love the shape of these. I've got another one over there. That's a little small Tradescantia. And some more bits along there. Um, we've had to move. I'm trying to move back now so that you can see. <laughs> fig tree i've named her panache she's now in the greenhouse um i just have had no luck she's um she is a, a panache fig um she should be producing striped figs but she's not so i've repotted her and brought her in here apparently she quite likes um really hot a really nice hot long summer so i'm hoping having her in here will encourage her to throw it'll also mean that she gets really regular watering um and sort of 
kept well so this is the start of my tomato wall well tomato tomato what am i talking about my cucumber wall it's because i'm looking at the grow bags uh, my cucumber wall um this one over here is actually heritage variety and it's a white cucumber then we've got your normal cucumbers along here and then right at the end is a watermelon plant that i popped in um henry really wanted to grow a watermelon so we're attempting it and obviously the best place for it is going to be in this greenhouse so we'll see we'll see how we go i'm hoping this is kind of going to create a bit of a screen along the front just to help with um the heat and the sun i need to actually that's one of my jobs this week is to get some screening for the top of this um to help with the um help with the heat a little bit right i'm just bringing down sorry if i'm wobbling you i'm bringing down one of my hanging baskets because my streptocarpus is blooming really well that's in a hanging basket and just hangs up so yeah so there you go i really really hope you enjoy this tour um and uh hope to see you again soon